I was going to say that them gathering for Strike Force Five is not just an admission that they're all the same, but I think an unconscious confession that they know they're going the way of the dodo. Because in rock and roll or music, you only join super groups at the end of your career. You know, remember the power um, station? No, no. Oh, that was like the post Duran Duran. And anyway, the yeah, but there are, there have been many others. But go, yeah. but go ahead. Yeah, when you, when you go to Vegas, there's all these shows, Legends of Rock. You know, one guitarist from uh, Poison, one guitarist from whatever. Um, Yui but, Malmsteen had to be in there. You know. Yeah, but they've formed a supergroup, which is, as I say, usually the last chapter before you know complete uh, eradication or defunctness. Do we have a sample? One more time, Jimmy. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jimmy Fallon. Oh, I'm Stephen I Colbert. Thought, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I thought when you said Jimmy, you meant me, Jimmy, but you meant Jimmy, Jimmy. I always you, mean you. But when you I say always Seth, mean, Seth Meyers, who do you mean? I mean John Oliver. It's sense. the five of us together for a, 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 maybe an hour a, a day. Strike Force 5 is the name of our podcast. Subscribe to it now. Spotify or wherever else you get your podcasts. But Spotify, you fucks. That's John Oliver. So if John Oliver yeah. didn't have an accent, you would not know at all who was talking on that thing. It, it's shocking how, how, how similar the modulation uh, and register of their voices is. Um, you know, I've listened to Strike Force 5 so that you don't have to. And most of the suspense of the show is figuring out how to ID uh, the speaker and, uh, and, and then finding out that you did it wrong or right. They not only uh, know they sound alike, they're making jokes about their uh, interchangeability with that Jimmy joke at the beginning. Um, uh, Inadvertently, I don't think they recognize the, the humor in it exactly. Right, uh, right. Yeah. And, at one, and at one point on one of the shows, you know, they, they talk about late night hosts as though it's a class of Americans, you know, uh, uh, it's a, like auto mechanics or, or it, it's a profession. And when, when they do their repartee, there's never any disagreement. They always laugh at each other jokes. Um, you get the sense that they've completely forgotten there's an audience whatsoever. 